guys how are you my name is tiffany Gushma, trying to give me a reason and i'm here to do some cooking i know i still got my uniform on y'all i'm so hungry i gotta get it started okay so what i'm cooking today is something i've seen on uh youtube i've been looking at a lot of cooking videos i know how to cook but i've been wanting something different something quick something easy so there's some people that i've absolutely been loving so i'll leave the information in the comment section uh, i mean comment section in the description bar so you guys can go but this guy and this young lady it's other people too but they 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 cooking okay they're cooking um i have a crock pot so i need to verify my crock pot because um i'm gonna start cooking stuff in the crock pot i mean the meals this man making a crock pot is heaven sent okay so anyway um what i'm cooking today is something i saw on the young lady's channel i put it in here somewhere i can't remember her name but i love when she you know she's like hi y'all how you doing everybody on back i love her so um i love her accent i love her attitude i love how you know just she's just so peaceful and i love her so she came up with this little idea of something quick something easy and i love sausages i love you know all types of vegetables and i'm not really a big tomato person but i was thinking that maybe i'll try just a little bit of this and cook it and i also was thinking about um boiling some of my uh thin noodles to eat like as another um side of it because you know you're supposed to eat this with rice so i'm going to eat it with rice and i'm going to boil some noodles just i'm just going to see how it tastes with rice first before i boil the noodles but right now i'm just going to cut up the let me wash my hands first okay So first I'm going to cut up the sausages and put them in a little container and then we have sausages, onions, um, red, yellow, and orange peppers. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of stuff. I think I'm going to add a little bit of garlic just to give it some. Alright guys, I'm back. So right now I'm going to cut up sausage. That wasn't cute, but I'm going to mind my business. So I'm just going to cut up some sausage really thin and i'm going to put them in a bowl in a minute as soon as i finish cutting them up because i'm going to cook them and let them saute just a little but before i start cooking them i want to cut up everything so we have red peppers yellow peppers bell peppers and onions and i'm gonna put a little bit of garlic that i have in the refrigerator I, I mean, I have other garlic, but I don't feel like cutting no fresh garlic. I just, I'm gonna get the garlic that I bought is already cut up. So I'm gonna get that. And I'm going to, let me show you, get another little piece over here. So I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna cut that up and, um, I mean, uh, put a little bit of that inside of my dish. Now, I, you can season it however you season it. I like mine a little spicy, so I am going to put a little bit of red pepper flakes in it because I like my stuff spicy. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I got them, I didn't even tell y'all. I have on my uniform because, yes, I was called for a trip this morning. I was so irritated. Y'all don't understand. I was so irritated. I was so mad. I was so mad. Um, and it wasn't. Like, I love my job, so let me say that first before I even say I'm so mad. But it was a term, and I just, I'm like, why am I always at the top of the list? Like, I'm not understanding how I'm always the one getting called. And then, if I get airport standby, I'm always the one getting you. Like, I'm not understanding it. So, I have one more reserve block tomorrow, and then the last two days of the month. And I, um, I'm done for the month. But with all that being said, I was a little irritated because I'm like, come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. So, um, I have that one more reserve block. And then after that one more reserve block, then I should be, um, not one more reserve block, but I have, um, hold on one second. I have one more, um, the one reserve block that's right now the three days. 
because I had two reserve blocks back to back, which equals six days. And then I have two more reserve blocks. That was my original reserve block. And it's the last two days of the month. Now, supposed, not supposed, but when I got my bid, I was supposed to work the last two days of the month and then be good for the, the first two days of next month. But the problem is, is that I have vacation next month. Oh, it's not going to work. No, 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 no. no. That's not good. I want not. I just bought those knives. That shouldn't even be. Oh. Let me go for the gusto. <laughs> um, I have one more reserve block, and um, I was supposed to go into another reserve block um, in the beginning of the month, next month. So I was supposed to have. Um, it's like it says B two. So basically, if you have a letter of a reserve, I'm gonna cut my finger. But if you have a letter of on your reserve block and you have a number next to that letter is whatever that number is that's how many days you're good for so you can have like some like for example somebody said oh you got my reserve block is only one day no before you pick it up you look at the letter and you look and see if there's a number next to it and if there's a number next to it you're good for that many days so i had b2 so since i had b2 i was going to be good for um two days the first two days of next month but since i have vacation they can't use me but just letting you know if you work here you know you knew that's how it goes like don't let anybody pimp you and be like oh my god just one reserve block no it's not one reserve block ask them say because sometimes they'll put one reserve block in there and try to hide like whatever the number is tell them say no i need to see that reserve block is there a number and could i look at your board because if you don't look at that board they'll put down that because sometimes with the reserve blocks you don't always see the number they have to you have to look at their schedule because you can it'll have like a reserve and then it'll have a b and then next to it have another b and then they'll have the number next to it or it have bb because you know each day is a reserve day and then they have like bb and then it'll have a number at the on the third day so then when you get your line i mean when you get when you if you pick it up from somebody you'll think you're only good for one day but you're not really good for one day you're good for three or four days so you know, make sure if you work here, you ask them, uh, I want to see your line. Because this right here for the birds. Like, y'all have to play me. And I, I learned that the hard way. So I was like, oh, I got this blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to give it that up. Mm -mm, honey, I found out my behind was good for um, three more days. I was so pissed. So, I mean, and when I say pissed, you be upset because you don't got played. And then you get mad at the people who, you know, did it to you. But, you know, it's you live and you learn. So I was like, okay, this is what they're doing, okay. So now I know. So like I said, if you work here, make sure that you know you look at the, especially for the last day of the month, they always try to get rid of the reserves at the beginning and the last of the month, only because, um, I don't know, I don't know I'm not crazy. If I am aware. Um, only because um, they want to pick up overtime. Because I don't know, if you guys don't remember, uh, overtime is the beginning and the end of the month so that's that's our overtime so people like to get rid of those days so that they can um pick up overtime and you stuck with their reserve so but the reserve i have is the reserve that i originally got when i got my line so i'm not you know i'm not that crazy <laughs> okay i'd rather get overtime and you know that's what i'd rather do but anyway now i'm not trying to cut these off pretty but yeah so this morning while i was saying all that this morning um i got a call because i went on call last night at nine o'clock at night so i didn't know if they were going to use me it's going to be in the morning but i'm thinking you know it's sunday but i forget that sunday is a lot of days that people call out you know they call out on sunday and or they drop a trip or you know something like that so here you go sunday and you looking and you thinking you good and, and it's always like a short call out that they get like they have it on their board and they'll call right out on it and then here you are <clears throat> thinking you're not going to get used and you're getting used because they they've called out on that short trip they don't want to come over over here from they probably live an hour away to do one day like do a, a hour and something turn and i'm not hating on them because you know they got that seniority but that's normally what happens on sunday you know what? Hold on. Oh my God, I'm not going to wear I didn't just... 
No wonder they get. I'm like, bro, like, you gotta be kidding me. I just got this now. So, um, anyway, oh, they help a lot. Yes, honey, that's what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, so I got called this morning. I was not happy, okay? And then, um, uh, because I'm not a morning person for them. And then when I looked at my board, I seen that I, I'll be cutting it close. So, um, I was, the flight wasn't a bad flight. Let's put that out there. I just was supposed to do one leg to Denver. And then after I do my one leg to Denver, I did head back to Houston. So when I looked at my board, I was a little irritated because the time I had in between to get um, to my gate, which was on the other side of the airport, was 27 minutes. And I was even more irritated because I'm thinking, if the captains don't speed, I won't make that flight and I'll probably be sitting in Denver for hours. So why would they give me something with such a close connection? And then, not only was it a close connection, um, it was just a, like a flight that, was, like a lot of other flights got canceled. And it just our particular flight didn't get canceled. But um, I was like, come on. So then when I got to work, um, I had a report at seven. I looked at the board and showed up. Um, it was 27 minutes in between and I was on an 800 aircraft and the 800 aircraft, aircraft is our bigger model. So I was on the 800 aircraft and for us to be on the 800 aircraft, it takes a little longer to deplane because it's more seats and it's a longer body. So since it takes a long time to deplane, um, that will cut into the 27 minutes. Well, when I got on today, so I was irritated with that first of all. But when I got on, the captain was like, hey, you know, we trying to hurt with our day. You know, as soon as y'all get through whatever y'all doing, let us know because we, we want to go. And I'm like, oh, my happy, hey, you're not going to get no second guess from me because I want to get back on this flight coming back to Houston. And sure enough, when they got me in early, I was able to clean. I mean, they got us in early. I was able to clean and I was able to make my flight. I was hustling and bustling, but I was over there. So sometimes, you know, even though I'm not a morning person, sometimes it's not good to get that upset about things because it is going to work itself out. And that's what you signed up for. So I wasn't upset about the flight. I was just thinking, why would they put me on something where it's going to take me a minute to get to a gate? Like, it's going to take me a minute to get to that gate. So, I was, so I'm thinking I may miss my connection. And so what I did was I got my boarding pass in Houston because we're able to do that. So I went right to the Houston counter before I um, boarded the other aircraft and I checked in for my flight. I went right to the Houston counter and I was like, hey, is there any way that I can get my um, my boarding pass for the flight going out of Denver? Because I knew for a fact I wouldn't have had time. Like if I would have went and tried to get a boarding pass in Denver, I wouldn't have made it. And I did make I made it, but I made it like 10 minutes before the door was about to close. And they were making announcements as I was running to the gate. So I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Y'all, if I start crying, it's not cause I'm very emotional about the day. It's the fact that I'm cutting out. So um, anyway, um, that's what happened. And I got in. And one thing I can say about our reserve is, for example, today, as we were coming into Houston, there was weather and we were on hold which means we we're flying around and going in circles in flight we were on hold for hold on one second hold on one second i need to get some bowls so when i cut stuff up i can have the stuff in the bowls but um we were on we were um in a holding pattern, that's what they call a holding pattern. And with that holding pattern, we're just flying around. I had to a good nap, y'all. I, I think before, I think before they closed the door, okay? When I sat down and I was in, I was actually able to get a window seat, thank God. I sat next to this couple and they want to sit next to each other. So they were like, you want the window? I was like, absolutely, thank you so much. I was knocked out. I think I was knocked out before we even, I don't think I seen the demo out of there. Because I'm not a morning person. But um, when I woke up, we had like 20 minutes and it seemed like everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, 
the captain got on the PA and was like, oh, you know, we're sad, ladies and gentlemen, but we're in a holding pattern because there's weather in Houston. And I was like, what? <laughs> so there was definitely weather in Houston and we couldn't go anywhere. We had to do a complete holding pattern until um, they cleared the weather. Now, when you're on ready reserve, that sucks because when you're in a, oh, I'm, I didn't even cry. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Um, when you're on ready reserve, it's a bad thing because all that holding, I don't get paid for it. If you're on AM and PM reserve, oh, you get paid for it. All that holding, oh, you get paid for it. But ready, you're not. So that's one thing I kind of got irritated with. I'm like, oh man, we're not, we're not even getting paid. But I'm not even getting paid because I'm on ready reserve. So now I'm just like sitting here going in circles where everybody else, that's why the flight attendant's like, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're not landing yet because they're getting paid. Me, I'm not because I'm on ready reserve. So I'm like, oh, come on. So I didn't get all those. I think we were in flight for an extra hour. I didn't get it. So yeah, that's what happened today. Um, you know what? Let me turn this on first and see. So I got off. Um, we finally landed and I'm just put a little bit just a little bit of oil so it won't stick but when we finally landed um okay when we finally landed it um i called to be released and my um available contact time is like about 11 20 tonight so that means that I can be called for a four o'clock trip because I go on reserve tonight. And I looked and there aren't a lot of AM reserves and there aren't a lot of PM reserves and I'm number 12. I don't understand how I'm doing all this flying them all at the top of the list. Like I need to talk to somebody and find out like what it is that's going on. Like why am I always at the top of this list? Like I'm not understanding. Like I feel like since I've flown so much I've flown a lot of hours. Like, if you look at my hours, you'll be like, okay, yeah, let's give somebody else some hours. No, they keep you, well, they can't use my airport standby anymore because um, I've set my five times. But that's what happened, y'all. So, you know what? Is that enough sausage? Yeah, you know what, y'all? Because I'm not going to do a lot. And I put the rest of this away just in case. I'm just going to cook a little bit just to see how I like it. I feel like I'm in La La Land. Like I, I got stuff just. I don't know, y'all. I'm just so irritated. I just am so sad. I came home, I was like, oh, I'm gonna tell my clothes and cook. No, I went right to the store. I was sitting in line about to get some hood chicken. That, that hood chicken is so good. I was about to get some hood chicken. But honey, that line was so long and it was taking so long. I was like, you know what? Let me go home and cook. And that's what I did. I was like, I'm gonna go home and cook. Cause I refuse. I refuse, honey, to um, there, garlic powder, red pepper flakes, oh, my seasoning, there we go, let me see. Some seasoning salt, some ketchup. You gonna taste this today? They gonna taste this today? I'm just playing y'all. I'm, I'm gonna listen. I'm, I'm proud of myself. You know I mean? My behind to be spending money right now. But y'all, your girl, 
I've been doing a lot of cooking, okay? I've been, I'm, I'm proud of myself and girl been cooking, okay? So, I know I need to get out the uniform, y'all, but I gotta get this food started. Now, I was gonna cook some, I didn't do that. I was gonna cook some rice. <laughs> no, I'm not. Let me show you right now, hold on. I don't feel like doing all that. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter, some parsley flakes on top of this rice, but this rice right here, right here, this rice right here, right here, this is the, this jasmine rice is so good. And I'm gonna take, even though you can put it in my way for two minutes, it's bomb. It tastes like fresh cooked rice, okay? We're gonna use that today. Now, I could have made some rice, y'all, but girl, I ain't got time. I mean, I could have got like little Uncle Ben's in the bag. I don't feel like doing all that, yeah. So, what goes in this little compilation? Is it compilation? No, that's not right. Y'all, I'm smart. I, listen. And you know, as a matter of fact, while I'm cooking, I'll tell y'all something. A little bit about me. I used to, I if you've been following me for a long time, then you know. But my word game and vocabulary and speech was so impeccable and so articulate it was crazy like i never talked like this i used to talk like a belly girl like oh my god like oh my god you know how you go in the bathroom oh my god i hate you oh my god i hate you you're so skinny oh my god really yeah really i used to talk like that and i went through domestic violence and the way he hit me it messed up my speech so that's why I stutter a little, little, or like I get, you know, I lose my train of thought sometimes. Ooh, that smells so good. But yeah, so I know. Everybody was like, who would want to do that to you? Crap, child. Somebody who did wrong and thought you were going to let them do wrong and take them back, and I left. If you guys want to hear that story, let me know. I'm going to let them brown, honey. Yes, I'm going to let them brown get them juices up in her. So what's in this whole concoction of uh, this meal is the Hunt's Petite Diced Tomatoes. Okay, okay. Some red, yellow, and orange peppers. Okay. A white onion you guys can see the onion in here okay cut up in chunks and i got you can get she had these different sausages i don't like those so i got the home smokehouse original sausages because you know i like those like smoke that smoke sausage so that's what it looks like and look at all this pretty color look at this pretty color it's so pretty and i got this rice right here see the rice right here don't forget this is the spit that's the spit don't mind me y'all but this is smelling so good, okay? I just want to brown a little. And I have this little pan that you really can't burn anything in. But I just want it to brown. on one of my comments when I was talking about the little spider web incident. Let's do this. Mm. Let's taste this. Mm. Look. Somebody told me, damn, it's hot. Somebody told me to bake Bake homeboy cake. I never 
laugh so hard from that. I was in here dying. Y'all comments be cracking me. Listen, I want y'all to be y'all self. I want y'all to make me laugh when I make y'all laugh. Cause boy, when I be reading y'all comments, y'all comments be so funny, okay? Punk girl said, Granny, bake him a cake. Okay. But um, I think he got a bra, but I think he has a girlfriend. So, not the David. Satan. Okay. The devil busy with me. But anyway, and then Mike was like, um, he called him. He called him Spider Man. No, baby. I think Spider Man got Spider Woman. I think, listen, I think homegirl be like sitting by the window looking out the window to see what he do because he talk, but he very, you know, you can tell when a guy's shy. And for him to be and to look so professional, trust me, he knows what he's about. Okay. Yes, honey. Cause those are done. I'm gonna take those out. Maybe they maybe I should have cooked more than that, but hell, I don't know. I'm gonna cook a little bit. Y'all, this sauce is so good. I might have to go back and get some more. Sorry, my camera turned off. So here go the sausage so far. They look brown, okay. And then I'm gonna take, I like this pan because my mom sent me this and she got this for me a long time ago, but I like it because the handles never get hot. So let me get this, is this? Yeah. Get some of these ribs. I'm not gonna get all of them because I don't have that much meat. Which is just a little. Cause that is a, I can eat that. With uh, some onion, y'all know I love onions, honey. Oh, speaking of onions, I know I'm like jumping all over the place, y'all. But let me take. You know what? I need, you know what? Let me put it down. Cause this right here is for the birds. Okay, y'all. I almost cut the thing off. Okay. So, speaking of onions, oh, let me backtrack because I'm like in all over the place. But um, oh boy, oh yeah, that's great, y'all. Let me go get a band aid. I need a band aid. Oh boy, got a girlfriend. Okay. I don't care what nobody say he has a girlfriend. And he seems a little, he don't seem like the type to be shot. Let's put it like that, first of all. Alright, y'all. I need to be careful, okay? But um I think I think he has a girlfriend who cut it down a little. So y'all know I love my little accent, salt so, y'all, accent, okay, accent, that's my favorite brand, y'all look closer, no, because I need to make sure y'all see me, okay, let me move this out of the way, because you know I was trying to figure out which tripod I'm using, accent, just a little, get a little uh, seasoning salt over here, you know, seasoning salt, just a little, Woo! yes honey, a little bit of red pepper flakes, you know what I'm saying, because the girl like red pepper flakes, because I want a little you know what I'm saying? And a little, you know what, do I want to add garlic to that? You know what, you know what, I'm going to add just a little, just a little, just a little. Yeah, not a lot. Oh, let me add a little garlic. And then just a little, just my little tweaking, you know what I'm saying? And just a little bit more salt. Just a little bit more salt. Just a little bit more salt. Right here, right here. Because, honey, it's about to go down in the city. And I'm just cooking it in the juices from the sauce. Yes, honey. Y'all, you know what? I really need to let me know. That sounds good. Alright. So I'm just going to add a little bit. 
Not a lot. I'm not a big tomato person. No, that juice. No, the tomato. Stir it up a little more. Add a little bit more. Come on, juice. One more tomato. Let that simmer, you know what I'm saying? Wait a minute, y'all. Let me 
Let me get one of these peppers on her, one of these sausages, and see how this tastes. Mm. Mm. Let me close this. This is what it look like so far. Y'all can get first bite, you know what I'm saying? This is for you guys, okay? This is for you. I don't know why. Mm. Mm You get this often, okay? <coughs> like I said, this takes two minutes, but this microwave right here, y'all, it's based on the um, it's based on your microwave. Let me tell you right now, this microwave right here don't play because that damn was overcooked it and it said two minutes. I'm still gonna put on two minutes, but I'm gonna check up on it. Cause this thing cook fast. So I'm gonna take the remainder, turn this off. Take the remainder of that, put that in here. flakes on the rice. Let's see right now if this is hold on, hold on y'all, let's see. If the rice is done, you know me want it. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Good and hot. 
Okay, let that sit in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley flakes. You know, as a matter of fact, we're gonna put the parsley flakes when we plate the food. Okay. Y'all, I'm so hungry. I'm eating my uniform. I'm not playing. I'm about to starve. Okay. It is not a drill. I'm gonna put a little bit of this rice right here in the middle. Yes, ma'am. You know what? All right. Just a little, you know, just to get me started. Mm, 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 mm. Get some parsley flakes. Put it over the rice. And then put it over the plate. So it could be all pretty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because presentation is everything. And then get, you see how that looks? See how you put the presentation all over the rice? You know, y'all, I had to do all this when I was working private show. Make it all pretty and stuff. Yeah, yeah honey. Yeah, put some of that vegetables on there, honey. Don't forget about that meat, now. Yeah, honey. Let's put a little more of that meat in. You about to tear this up. Okay. I want to thank everybody for watching me make this good food because it's about to be so good. Not even good, good. And I'm gonna tear this up. Oh, you want to take out my uniform, y'all? I'm gonna go sit right here, right here, right now. And I'm gonna eat my food because I'm hungry. You know, I was hungry. I ain't, I ain't eating nothing all day. What time is it? It's 5 19. I need to quit this, but yeah. But I do want to thank you guys for, you know, coming over and cooking with your girl. And, See how your girl finna tear this up at the socket, okay? I'm finna, wait a minute, y'all. Wait, come on. We gonna, we gonna take the first bite together. Come on, y'all. Come on. Y'all like your videos, let me know. But let, let's take this bite, though. Let, let, let's see what the rice tastes like. Do you see this? Do, do you see this? Okay. Do, do you? Do we, let, let's, let's just... Hold on. Lord, bless food. Bless all table. Bless all table. Do you just name thing this food? Let me do. I understand the Lord to make this food, Lord. Bless the one who needs to get food, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you've done in my life at this time, Lord. Amen. Let's taste it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honey. Honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what? Y'all know what? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Well, let's get one with the salt with the sausage. Let, let's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is so good. Y'all, this onion. Mm. When I find out her name is, we gonna give her a shout out. Y'all go over there. I know I ain't gonna have, I mean, y'all like, girl, you ain't got any to follow. You can tell me to send us over here to tell somebody hi. But if you want to, go over there and say, look, your girl, Tiffany, you may not know her. She may be, you know, this small in your world, but homegirl, love your challenge. She made your dish. And tell her, I sent you over there. Cause y'all, she ain't playing honey's other dude. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, let me go eat. Cause this too good to let it go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Cause girl, I'm about to go eat this food. I'm not even taking off my clothes. I'm gonna go eat this food and then we'll take off the clothes after the fact. But let's go eat right now. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.